If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. By wearing a small remote device called a continuous glucose monitor or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers right away. If you're testing your blood sugar four or more times per day, injecting insulin three or more times per day, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetic Health Hotline today. 800-712-8002. That's 800-712-8002. Paid for by U.S. Med. Hey, this is Marty Croft. You're listening to TV Confidential, and this is my favorite podcast. It's a new You mentioned at the top of the program that this week's show is a mix of something old and something new, and that is simply because we have had a number of significant TV milestones over the past few weeks, and we want to celebrate as many as we can. Earlier in the program, we celebrated the 90th birthday of Bob Newhart, plus we marked the 50th anniversaries of Sid and Marty Croft Productions and the premiere of H.R. Puff and Stuff. There is another golden anniversary coming up next week, that being the 50th anniversary of the premiere of The Brady Bunch. Me TV will be playing four of the very best episodes of The Brady Bunch on Sunday, September 29th, for the decades Digital Channel will dedicate its weekend binge on Saturday, September 28th and Sunday, September 29th to episodes of The Brady Bunch, The Brady Brides, the short-lived one-hour drama, The Brady's, and other Brady program. Go to televisionconfidential.com for more information on both of these events. In the meantime, and to get you into a very Brady frame of mind, we will play a clip from our visit with our friend Jerry Hauser last year on TV Confidential. Jerry Hauser, Wally Logan, Marsha Brady's husband, on the Brady Brides, A Very Brady Christmas, and the spinoff series, The Brady's. Jerry Hauser is also one of the most accomplished voice actors in the industry. He appeared on TV Confidential in 2018, along with our friend Paul Robert Coyle. As we pick up the conversation, Jerry is talking about the screen test he did when he was first cast as Wally on The Brady Brides. I did my screen test with Maureen McCormick because I was supposed to be married mm-hmm. to her. So we did the screen test together. So she already had the part. Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she had a 12 year head start. No, she did. Yeah. Did she they did, get an in? We're going to jump. I mean, we're jumping around, but as long as you brought it up, did they, how, how did you come about doing the Brady Bunch? Did, was it, did your name come up? Did, did it come through your agent? Well, I mean, it went through normal channels. I did know Lloyd, Lloyd Schwartz, okay. who was one of the executive producers mm-hmm. and creators of it. And so he asked, I know he asked me to come in. But I went in and read, and then, and then it followed that the the protocol of going in and read, and then different people read, and they decided who they wanted to have back, and then they had me, and I don't know if it was one or two other guys back to read. They had sets of because it was this is where Marsha and Jan and the Brady Bunch get married. Mm-hmm. The first one we did with the Brady, yeah. it was a TV movie, the yes. Brady Girls Get Married, mm-hmm. which they really liked, and so they broke it up into four episodes making them, for, you know, the beginning of the series Don't that we did afterwards, Brides, right. which was The Brady Brides. <laughs> Many incarnations <laughs> with Brady in the title. Yeah, but that turns out to be good for you because they brought you back for each of them. So that was that was semi Oh, it work. was great. You know, you look at all these moments in your career that you have that are important moments, you know. I mean, we're... It's funny that we're talking about Barnaby Jones because I say, you know, people people know me either from Summer 42 mm-hmm. or they'll know me from the Brady series or, or Slapshot. Or Slapshot. Yeah. Those are the three, I, I suppose, landmark yeah. things that I did. And, and I always and joke. The, and the Keebler Elves. And the Keebler Elves. <laughs> but I always joke and I use the example. I said, you know, people, oftentimes people will come going, I'm sorry, I don't mean to embarrass you, but I really liked you in, in this and that. I hope you don't mind. I went, no, not at all. I'm thrilled you remember. Yeah. I say it's not often people come up to me and say, oh, I loved you in Barnaby Jones. <laughs> You changed my life. When you were crying and confessing to, to Mr. Jones, that was so moving. Well, you, you, know? you, 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 the first time I saw your first show, you pissed me off because you killed Biddle. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but but I, I would imagine, especially when you've got, well, you're lucky you've got three such roles. But I would imagine for most actors, if you have at least one role that people say, you know, I mean, especially if it's a recurring role on a, on, on a show that is as big as the, the Brady Bunch phenomena is to be a part of that. That's I would imagine that's cool and very rewarding. Oh, 
It's totally cool. I mean, when I was, I remember the first day on the set, I was standing there and we did this scene in the Brady living room. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I grew up, I didn't watch it a lot growing up, but I saw it when I was a kid. And here I am and it's this whole family thing. So the whole family's together and there's Alice and there's Carol and Mike. There's that ceramic horse under the staircase that's so iconic, you know, and I'm standing in that living room. I felt like I'd been sucked into the TV. I mean, really, here I am. I knew my way around the set Mm -hmm. because I knew the Brady house. So, absolutely, it was. And I'm I'm married to (laughs) Marsha. You know. Jerry Hauser is with us, along with Paul Robert Coyle. Jerry played Wally Logan on The Brady Brides, The Brady Girls Get Married, and in A Very Brady Christmas, Paul has written for such television shows as Streets of San Francisco, Barnaby Jones, and Stephen King's The Dead Zone. Now, you you mentioned that the Brady Girls Get Married, you originally shot it as a movie, but they broke it up. Now, when you made the movie, did they, were they thinking series at the time, or do you remember, or did that just... You know what, I don't, I don't recall. I don't know, because it was the first one, it was the first time they were having this reunion. Yeah. I thought the Christmas show came first. Was no, it? The Christmas show. That Christmas was, show that was, was about 10 years, years later. later. That was yeah. 10 years that, later almost. That was like 88, 89. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This man's so done that was re- a reunion. Obviously, though. one All of right. you have done their research. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no. I used the, to run the... lines with you on all these things. <laughs> 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 more that the Christmas show was first. No, no, no. We had to get married before we could do the well, Christmas right, show. Yeah, that's what I thought you meant during By that time, show, we had right. kids. So you're married um, in the two-hour thing. Well, but never aired as a two-hour? I don't. It, well, no, it did. Think, it did. I, it did. I think it was. I think it was shot as a two-hour, but they, but they broke it either into one or two. I think, if if I remember correctly, we're talking about the get married. The, the, yeah, the, the Brady yeah. Girls I'm get trying to remember now. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not then sure. It, then it followed into a half-hour series. Correct. The without, Brady Bride without yeah. Reed. Robert Reed did that two-hour, but right. he didn't do the series, right. and then he came back later for the yeah for the, the Christmas, Christmas show. I think he was the... doing. I think he was doing Nurse at the time, or or whatever. So, and there were always disputes between him and him and, him Sherwood. and yes. Sherwood and and, and all that. So. Sorry, right, Jerry and uh, Reed uh, seem to get along pretty well. Yeah, I like Bob and I got along great. I mean, I had a, I had a great time with him. Well, that's consistent his with was, what I know. He he loved the cast members. I mean, he was very all the cast members. I, I understand at least the kids. They have spoken to various degrees about how whatever whatever stuff he had with Sherwood, he kept that between him and Sherwood, and he never as as far we were we were talking about actors who are very generous and very giving, and apparently as an actor with his fellow. Brady co-stars, he was very generous and very supportive of them. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, I think there were eruptions on the set at yeah. different times about the script or whatever. I didn't really experience it all that much while we were doing our shows, I'm sure, during the the original series. You know, I mean, Bob was had been a, a serious actor. He had done uh, Defenders, Eugene, Defenders, Defenders yeah. and, and all that. And here he's doing this show that was, it was a lovely show for its time. Yeah. You know, it, it, it captured that moment and the attitude and and everything else it was silly a lot of times and there's a lot you have to just sort of give into yeah and i think that was hard for him to do i know that uh you know you probably it's that sort of love hate thing you have where you're famous you're successful in this role yet it's a role that isn't maybe as serious yeah. as you'd like it to be. But and my understanding is that he he was. I'm not making excuses for him. Mind no, you. no, no, no. But but, but, but my is, but. I have a colleague who's been working on a bio of Reed for some time, and my understanding is to the extent he would joust with, you know, Sherwood and the producers, it was out of desire because, as you said, he was a professionally trained actor. He wanted the material to be as good as it could be. Um, within the kind funds of television versus just being difficult. And some actors are difficult to be difficult, you know. Nobody in this room, but... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. He, but, but he would object to scenes. I remember the later years, you would tell me, he would hold up production on the set while he'd go in to rewrite a scene, and you, if you were in the scene with him... He would bring you in to work with him on that. Yeah, either work with him or he'd come go in and do whatever. I mean, there's probably better ways to do what he was trying to sure. do. And and then at some point you also have to accept the limitations of what you're doing. That's right. It is what it is. Yeah. And and either you accept it or you bang your head against the wall yeah. as I think he did about it, complaining or whatever. It's like 
I guess if you hate it, then you leave and and or you buy into it and you accept it. Yeah. You know? I, my, my, my point is the way, the way I look at it and maybe I'm off, but the way I look at it is he cared. I mean, I mean you, and, and yes, maybe he could have expressed how he cared better than. But to me, it's you'd rather have someone who cares than who doesn't care, because that because if you care that ultimately comes across and it helps you i would i would think it would help it would it would come across with in your performance and help your fellow actors in their performance i think the degrees of everything yeah. and i think caring obviously is very important i think then you can get to a point where it becomes intrusive to the to the process as well not saying that that was it's not my fight Jerry Hauser, Wally Logan from The Brady Brides, A Very Brady Christmas, and the hour-long Brady Bunch spinoff series, The Brady's. Jerry Hauser is also an accomplished voice artist. He offers workshops for beginners in voiceover, both here in Los Angeles, as well as private sessions via Skype. For more information, go to HauserHoltWorkshop.com, HauserHoltWorkshop.com, or you can email Jerry for more information, Radio at AOL. Dot com. We'll continue the rest of our very Brady segment with a look at the DVD release of The Brady Kids next on TV Confidential. Ed Robertson, along with our friend Donna Allen Figueroa, who I understand has a new book out. Yes, it's entitled Fall Again Beginnings. It's the first part of a four-part contemporary romantic series uh, set against the background of working actors. Something that you know a, little, a thing or two. Well, about. you write what you know, and I have been working in the business for several years. It is not necessarily autobiographical, but it's based on. Sure, many of the experiences that the actors in my book have, many have happened to me, many have happened to friends of mine. It's not, if you're looking for. Valley of the Dolls, it's not, it's grounded in reality. It is grounded in reality, and it's the first in a series. Yes. Called the Fall Again series. Fall Again. Which is available as a paperback as well as an ebook and in Kindle at fallagainseries.com. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. By wearing a small remote device called a continuous glucose monitor or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers right away. If you're testing your blood sugar four or more times per day, injecting insulin three or more times per day, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetic Health Hotline today. 800-712-8002. That's 800-712-8002. Paid for by U.S. Med. TV Confidential. Attention sports fans. Now you can watch every football game you want all season long without leaving your home with Dish for about 50 bucks a month. Compared to your cable bill, you can save almost $600 a year. Call right now and sign up for Dish and watch every football game you want. With Dish, there are no boxes to pay, plus get free installation as soon as tomorrow. If you call now. And with Dish Anywhere, you can watch your favorite sports and channels on your smartphone, tablet, or laptop. Be one of the first 100 orders right now and get a free voice remote. Don't miss a single football game all year long and save a ton of money. Get a free voice remote and free installation as soon as tomorrow. But you got to call All American Dish right now. 800-296-1251 800-296-1251 800-296-1251 That's 800-296-1251 